Hello. Today we're going to do the new PC build of my new PC, what we run playing for some games and all that off. So at the moment this is what I currently use. So I've had it for about three years the computer and obviously just have the two screens at the moment. So we're going to upgrade to three of these screens here. These ones are the newer ones I got at the start of 2011. So I did use to run out of this, it's only a small 20.5 inch computer at the moment at the back. So all the new computer we've got on bed at the moment. So I'll just turn this off and show you some of the parts I'm going to be using today. I should start first. CPU, this is a AMD FX 6 core CPU version. It's a version of 6100. And it starts off at 3.3 GHz times 6, but you can use the new AMD Turbo Core series, which can clock it up to 4 GHz, just by using that. Uh, the hard drive, this is what I'm going to run the operating system off. This is just a sort of force free, this is one of the new versions of Corsair, 120 gig SATA free cable. So that will be running on the motherboard. I might as well get it out of the box to so be using it today. But the motherboard I went for this time is the Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. And that's pretty new as well. I think it's only come out uh, probably a few months ago, or not even that. So, get it out of the box. All of this stuff is all brand new, I've only brought it and sort of turned up. The last part only turned up just on two days ago, so it's all very new. So there's the motherboard you want to have a zoomed in look at it. And they've put all the uh, memory quite close to the CPU, I think it's like a new feature they do on these days. And they add this sort of coolant system, as you can see around here, the North Bridge and the South Bridge. A little Acer sort of stickery thing there hmm. it looks like all the SATA ports are coming out the side as you can see there's the SATA 3G it says on here the black ones two of them and the rest of the SATA 6 gig so they must be SATA 3s and SATA 2s there yeah. hmm. and then they also have the PCIs and stuff and all the other ports out there we have some USB 3.0s we have some external SATA ports and then just the standard USBs as well so, let's go for the next, this is my graphics card I've gone for, I only pre-ordered this the other day because it's actually a modded version by ScanFX, or VTX3D, these are the people who take the standard graphics card and boost it up, but this, the specs on this are actually the same specs as the new 7950 standard specs, so by having this it's locked there, so I might as well unbox this as well now. Now most of these components will be um, in bags and they, they will be static protective so you won't damage any of the components in it. So. Just a little tip. <laughs> this is a new graphics card. As I said to a few of you online, it's very big well, compared to the other graphics cards that I have at the moment. I see the bit out of the bag. See, look how big that is. <laughs> and it's got the twin fans. This is what the. Um, Can you bring it to light? <laughs> the table might be a better view of it. And this is, these are the modded ones where they've added some sort of better fans and cooling things. They even got some slight copper pipes that go around the side of it for some reason. And that's a very big size if I can sort of compare it to, say, like a standard keyboard or something. Or a hand. Or a hand, yeah. Next, next part we'll go for is... This come with the case, I brought a case, I'll show you the case in a bit. Come from the same people who make that, they make modded cases. Like my power supply. Magnetically sealed. Yeah. Look at that shiny cable. 
I'll have to get it out the bowl before I have to actually see if it burns. And the old, the whole colour scheme I've done for the computer is sort of like a glowing red. So you'll see it's good how all like the graphics card, the case, the power supply, except for the memory I've gone for blue, so that will stand out quite a bit. I'll get this bubble wrap off. Often we need to get out of them anyway. And as you can see, this I think is even light up, so when we plug it in, we have to show you what it's all like. So it's got a red fan in there, all these cables are sort of look like they're sort of crisis armor, if you know what I mean. So let's put that in. I might as well move some of this stuff out of the way for the moment. Put this back in the box. The box is quite nice, actually. <laughs> Keep it. Yeah. Uh, for memory here, you might have seen when we just flashed over the video, just gone for Corsair again, so they're very good make of memory. It's the Vengeance DDR3, 4 gigs for each stick of RAM, so that takes up to 16 gigs for the whole PC. I think that's about it, and I'll show you the case now. The case, it probably looks better once it's sort of all plugged in. So it's got some sort of it's got big fans inside. And on the front it will light up with some sort of like thundering light. This is all red lighting as well. So that light up once everything's all in it. So I might as well open this for the moment. Okay finally we've sort of got it all working now. Plugged everything in we think at the moment. It's a bit messy at the moment but at least it's sort of working so we can, well I can change it all later whenever there's only sort of what it looks like. But as you can see the graphics card actually takes up a hell of a lot of room and doesn't really leave too much room for the cables to get by it. Especially like the power cable going to the motherboard has to sort of just squeeze by it to get in. And on this graph on this motherboard it does actually hide where these SATA ports are. So if I normally plug extra hard drives in every so if you upgrade the machine you have to sort of take it out I suppose. But I'll turn it on now. You might want to come to the front on the side. And here we go. I've turned it off. That's not helpful. And here we go. We've got some like red thunder sort of effects down there and some lights down the bottom. And if inside it as well, you'll be able to see that it's got the red lit fans and the other board we've been up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the BIOS is actually a GUI as well, but at the moment it's loading Windows, so we install Windows and then we'll probably have to come back to doing the rest of this afterwards. And then I'll show you the BIOS as well. So we'll catch up the video after we've installed everything, otherwise it's going to probably take a while to install Windows. So we'll leave it there for now. I'll see you in a bit.